Hey everyone, this is Erin with Five Parks Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. Today's class is a highly requested intense yoga flow without planks and chaturangas. So if you're dealing with any wrist or shoulder, elbow injuries, this class is perfect for you. I hope you enjoy it. If you like this class, um, I do have several classes on my channel already with wrist and hands free yoga. During this class, you are going to get nice and warm. We are going to do some core exercises. And even though you're not gonna be impacting your shoulders and your wrists and your hands, we will do some um, work to get your arms nice and warm as well. So let's start in a seated position. We're, we're just gonna do a spinal warm up, and then we will get up on our feet and start moving. So sit up nice and tall in a cross-legged or a kneeling position or a squatting position, or you can sit on a block, rest your hands on your knees, sit up nice and tall, close your eyes, roll your shoulders down and away from your ears. Take a deep inhale here. Big exhale through your mouth. Close your lips, breathe in through your nose. Equally long, exhale through your nose. Continue to breathe in and out through your nose throughout the entirety of this practice. And on your next breath in, bring your arms up overhead Connect the palms of your hands and exhale. Bring your hands through heart center. And then let's do two more like that. So breathe in, bring your arms up and around. Connect the palms of your hands. Exhale through heart center. One more time. Breathe in, bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands through heart center. On your next breath in, bring your arms up overhead. And as you exhale, bring your arms to a parallel position to the floor, flip your hands so your palms are facing down. And then on your inhale, bring your thumbs up toward the ceiling, maybe rotate them back toward the back wall. And then exhale, flip your palms, bring your thumbs toward the floor, maybe toward the back wall. And let's do that again. So just starting to get some rotation in the shoulders. Again, we're going to work the arms without putting a lot of body weight or pressure on our hands, wrists, and shoulders. Just do a couple more, creating heat in the shoulders, but keeping your shoulders relaxed down away from your ears. And last one. Come back to neutral, both palms facing toward the floor. Bring your right hand down toward the floor. Reach your left arm up and across. No pressure on your hand or your wrist, just for support here. Come back to center, reach both arms up overhead. Switch sides, nice side bend here, warming up the spine. Bring both arms up overhead and we'll take a twist. So bring your left hand to your right knee, your right hand out behind, breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, look out over your shoulder. Breathe in, both arms up overhead, and switch sides. Bring your right hand to your left knee, your left hand out behind. Look out over your shoulders. Bring both arms up overhead, and then bring both hands behind your hips, and just tent your fingers so they're on the floor. Again, no pressure in the wrists, just here for support. Lift your ch chest and lift your chin. Maybe look up at the ceiling. Come back to center. Bring both hands out in front of you and walk your hands forward. Maybe bringing your forehead down toward the floor. And then walk your hands all the way back up. And then just Switch the cross of your legs if your legs are crossed. If you're sitting on your shins, don't worry about it. And we're just gonna take one next stretch here. So bring your left hand to the top of your head, 
Bring your left ear toward your shoulder. Come back to center and switch sides. So bring your right hand to the top of your head. Gently bring your right ear toward your right shoulder. And then come back to center. Release both hands. And from wherever you are, we're gonna come up onto both feet at hip distance apart. So bring your feet right underneath your hips. Bend your legs a lot, come into a ragdoll position. You can just rest your arms down on a block or the floor, or you can take opposite hand toward opposite elbow and just start to sway side to side, maybe bending and straightening one leg at a time. Again, letting your head hang heavy. And we're gonna take one more breath here in this ragdoll position, either holding steady where you are or swaying side to side. And then on your exhale, come back to neutral, release both hands down towards your mat, and then roll your way up to a standing position. Arms are heavy. Your head will be the last thing to arrive. Once you arrive in a standing position, come into mountain pose. Spread your toes nice and wide, palms face out, fingers reach down towards your mat, activate your quads. Just find a neutral pelvis, but engage your core, your abdominal muscles. Engage your triceps, the backs of your arms, and let's get moving right away. So inhale, both arms up overhead, bring your hands to your heart, and sink down into a chair position, Utkatasana. Bring your thumbs toward your sternum, bring your weight back into your heels, lower your shoulders down away from your ears, and just feel the heat building in your thighs, in your low back, and hold here. Just peek down at your toes, make sure your knees are behind your toes. Make sure you can wiggle your toes, so Verifying that your weight is in your heels and continue to hold here. And just breathe deeply. Practice that ujjayi breathing in and out through your nose. And maybe with each exhale, you can sink a little bit deeper into your chair pose. Continue your deep breathing, stay in your chair squat, bring all of your weight to your right leg and lift your left foot up off the floor and hold for three, two, one, and then switch sides. So bring all of your weight into your left foot, reach your, or lift your right foot up off the floor and hold for three, two, one. Come back to chair, hold here, Lift both arms up and then exhale, airplane chair. Reach back, stay low in your squat. Inhale, arms up, biceps by your ears. Exhale, airplane. Inhale, reach. Exhale, airplane. Inhale, reach all the way up tall mountain pose and come all the way back down to Uttanasana, standing forward fold, stretching out the backs of your legs, releasing your low back, bring your hands again to a block, shins, thighs, or your mat. Exhale here. Inhale, halfway lift, come to monkey pose. So flat back, again, hands on a block or your shins. Exhale, for standing forward fold. Again, halfway lift. Forward fold, breathe out. And last time, halfway lift. And standing forward fold. From this position, Reach your arms off to both sides and come all the way up to tall mountain pose. Nice, long, straight spine. Bring your hands to your heart. 
If you're not already at the top of your mat, step to the top of your mat. We're gonna come into some standing postures. We're gonna do kind of a ladder model. So we're gonna hold a couple of different standing postures for 10 breaths, eight breaths, six breaths with different arm variations. So you're gonna build heat in your legs and you're also gonna get a nice stretch for your shoulders. So let's start with warrior two. So go ahead and stand on your left foot, bring your right foot way back toward the back of your mat. Back foot is at about a 45 degree angle and then reach your arms parallel to the floor, both palms facing down. Hands are nice and active, fingers are spread wide. And we're just gonna start with traditional warrior arms. So again, nice strong arms, but shoulders are relaxed. Find a neutral pelvis. And then we're gonna take 10 deep breaths here. Find your ujjayi breathing. We've already been here for about three, so we're gonna do seven more. Breathe in through your nose. Out through your nose. more. All right, you can straighten your front leg and then bring your hands into cow face arms. So you have a couple of options here. You can clasp your hands behind your back, or you can take your left hand down toward the top of your back and then bring your right hand toward your elbow. Or you can just take your hands behind your back and not clasp. All right, let's bend back into that front leg. Hold here. Big deep ujjayi breathing. Two more here. Okay, release your arms, straighten your right leg. And this is your last stretch. So we're gonna take eagle arms now. So extend both arms straight, parallel to, the, to your mat. Bring your right arm underneath your left and your left arm crosses on top of your right. Elbows cross, maybe palms touch. If you can't touch your palms, no worries. You can bring your hands to your shoulders or just keep them fingers facing up. Okay, breathe in and exhale. Bend right back into your front leg. So I hope you feel the heat building in your body. It's gonna be our shortest hold. Big stretch for your arms. Focus on your alignment, focus on your breath. You have the opportunity here to really feel into your body, feel your toes connected to the earth, your knee right over your front ankle, really pressing into the outer edge of your back foot. A couple more breaths here. Last breath. All right, on your next breath in, unwind your eagle arms. Reach both arms up overhead. 
five-pointed star. Exhale, come into prayer squat, bringing your hands through heart center. Breathe in, reach up. We'll just do two more. Breathe out. Exhale. Inhale, back to five-pointed star. Really actively reach through your fingertips. Feel your feet planted firmly on the floor. And as you exhale, you're gonna swing your right arm down and then come all the way through to crescent lunge. So you're just gonna peel your back heel up off the floor and then find your left knee right over your left ankle. Keep your right heel lifted up behind you, active arms. Breathe in, exhale, just dip your knee down toward the floor. You can cactus your arms if you want. That's my ankle. And lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Come back to crescent lunge. Bring your hands to your heart. You're gonna take a big step onto your left foot and come into airplane with hands at heart center. Try to keep your hips level, hands at your heart, steady through your standing leg. You can keep a slight bend in your knee. And then from here, you're gonna take little mini pulses on your left leg. So five, four, three, two, one. From here, take a big step back, return to crescent lunge on your inhale. And then as you exhale, Bring your hands back to heart center. Step your right foot to meet your left. Come right back into Utkatasana, chair pose. Inhale, bring both arms up overhead for tall mountain pose. And your hands back to heart center. And we're gonna do those poses on the other side. So you're gonna stand firmly on your right foot and take a big step back with your left foot. Come into warrior two legs. Warrior two arms. Bring your arms parallel to the floor and then sink right into your right leg. Roll your shoulders down and away from your ears. Take a moment to focus on your alignment. So front knee right over your front ankle. Nice 45 degree angle in your back foot. Shoulders nice and relaxed. Steady gaze. We've been here for about three breaths. We've got seven more to go. So focus, relax your jaw, relax your face, relax your forehead. Breathe deeply in and out through your nose. One more breath here. All right, straighten your front leg and come into cow face arms. So you're gonna take your right arm up and over. Same variations on this side. You can either hold on to your elbow, clasp your hands behind your back, or just place your hands on your back and your low back, even if they don't reach toward one another. And then once you have the hand variation of your choice, come right back into the lunge and hold here for about eight breaths. We're all gonna have different breath cycles, so just focus on your own breath. Hold it as long as you can. Feel the strengthening in your legs, the stretching in your arms and your shoulders. your arms. Breathe in, reach your arms up overhead, and we're going to take eagle arms for our last hold. Come into eagle arms. So you're just going to sweep your left arm underneath your right. 
Maybe take the palms of your hands and connect them in front of your face. If that doesn't work for you, you can take your hands to your shoulders or take the backs of your hands toward one another. And then just take a nice deep bend into your right leg and hold here for about six breaths. Focus on your alignment, the strength and heat building in your legs, and your breath flowing in and out through your nose, the stretch in your shoulders and your arms. One more breath here. Sink deeper into that front knee. Unwind your arms, five-pointed star. Take both feet out to an angle. Bring your arms up overhead. Connect the palms of your hands. Breathe in and exhale, sink. We'll do that two more times. Breathe in. Exhale. Again. Come back to five-pointed star. Palms face out, fingers reach nice and wide, shoulders down away from your ears, breathe in. Exhale, you're gonna take your left arm, your back arm, swing it down and rotate toward the front of your mat, coming into crescent lunge. So still a nice long stance. Now you're on your right leg, left heel is lifted, shoulders down and away from your ears, fingers nice and active. Breathe in here. Then just dip your back knee down, cactus your arms for three and two and one. Come all the way back to crescent lunge as you inhale. Bring your hands to heart center. You're gonna take a big step onto your right foot and come into airplane pose on your right leg with hands at heart center, gazes down, hips are level. We're just gonna take five little dips here. So five, four, three, two, one. All right, big step back with your left leg, plant your foot on the floor, heel is up, inhale, crescent lunge. Look up, bring your hands together above your head and back to heart center as you breathe out and then step your right foot to meet your left. Come back into chair pose, breathe in here. And then as you exhale, you're gonna bring your right arm forward and your left leg back for a twist, or your left arm back for a twist. Keep your knees in line with one another. Inhale, both arms up overhead and switch sides. So left arm forward, right arm back. Breathe in, both arms up overhead. Exhale, standing forward fold. And then keep your hands on the floor. Again, no pressure in your wrists or in your hands. We're just gonna come into a low lunge position. So take your left foot and step it way back. Maybe lower your back knee down onto the floor or a blanket. And then inhale, both arms up overhead. Exhale, half splits pose. Begin to straighten your front leg. Forward fold over your front leg. Maybe bring your forehead towards your knee. And then come back into a low lunge position, tucking your back toes, lifting your knee up off the floor, and then stepping your left foot to meet your right and switching sides. So step your right foot back for low lunge position. Bring your back knee down to a blanket or your mat. Begin to straighten through your front leg for half splits pose. Bring your forehead towards your knee. And then come all the way back into a low lunge position. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, and then step your right foot to meet your left. Come into standing forward fold. Heel toe your feet out to about mat distance apart. 
Toes are out at an angle, maybe a 45 degree angle. From here, bend both legs and come into Malasana or a deep yogic squat. You can sit your hips on a block or have your hands in front of you for balance or take your hands to heart center and just gently press your elbows into your knees and hold here for five breaths. You can find a place to gaze on the floor. You can close your eyes, listen to the sound of your breath going in and out through your nose. your elbows right where they are connected to your knees and then begin to lift your hips so they're at about knee height and lower continuing to build heat in the legs and the hips and lift and lower for three two one Exhale, hold here, bring your left hand down toward the floor, just take a twist, breathe in, switch sides, bring your right hand to the floor, reach your left arm up, breathe in. Exhale, bring both hands back toward the floor and then begin to straighten your legs just right where they are and then dangle here, just gently sway side to side, releasing any tension from your low back. And then heel toe your feet back to hip distance apart. On your inhale, reach both arms up so you're back in tall mountain. Keep your arms right up overhead. Keep your left foot firmly planted to the floor and then step your right foot back to warrior one. So your feet are at about hip distance apart. Your shoulders and your hips are squared to the front of the room or front of your mat. Look up. Reach up and then exhale, bring both hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Open your chest, open your shoulders and then come into Humble Warrior. Bringing your left shoulder to the inside of your left knee. Look back toward the back of your mat and then on your next breath in, come all the way back up, release your hands, reach your arms up overhead and then exhale, come into airplane pose, so stepping Onto your left foot, reaching both arms back, palms face down, lifting your right toes up off the floor, squeezing your triceps, and then step your back foot back, inhale, warrior one, deep breath in, exhale back to airplane pose, and then one more time, step back, breathe in, warrior one, Exhale, back to airplane pose. And then bring that right leg through so you're in standing staff with a bent leg. Reach your arms up overhead and then bring your left hand to your left hip. Bring your right fingers, either your right hand around your right knee or your right fingers around your big toe. Hold here. If you're holding onto your toe, you can maybe extend your leg. Maybe bring it off to the side. So if you're holding onto your right knee with your hand, you can just take your right knee off to the side, trying to keep your hips level and your foot active. And then wherever you are, if you're holding onto your foot, your knee, Release and then bring your right ankle across your left knee. So we're going to come into standing pigeon pose. Bring your hands back to your heart. Sink down into your chair. Keep a nice steady gaze on the floor. And this is your last breath here. And 
and then come all the way back up and bring your right foot into tree pose. So bring it to your calf or your inner thigh. Just avoid your knee or your ankle or the floor. Bring your hands back to heart center. On your next breath in, we're gonna take a modified five-pointed star. So you're gonna take your right foot, release it from your leg, and then sweep it off to the side, but point your toes forward so they're in line with your heel. Reach to a star position, and then come back to standing pigeon. And then breathe in, modified star. Breathe out, back to standing pigeon. And then last time, breathe in, modified star, and breathe out, back to standing pigeon. And then release your right foot to meet your left. Breathe into a tall mountain position and bring your hands back to heart center. Take a deep breath in, come back to tall mountain pose. And as you exhale, come into standing forward fold. Keep your right foot firmly planted on the floor as you step your left foot way back so you're in a low lunge position. Keep your heel lifted and on your next inhale, come back to crescent lunge. Exhale, come into airplane lunge. Again, reach up, crescent lunge, breathe in. Exhale, reach back, activating your triceps, staying low in your lunge, your front leg, inhale. And then exhale, come into airplane pose, standing on your right foot, keeping your hips level, reaching back with your fingertips. And on your next breath in, you're gonna sweep that left leg all the way through, reaching your arms up. Coming into staff position with your leg at a 90 degree angle. And then you have a couple choices from here. You can take your left hand to your left knee, hold here. You can take your left fingertips around your left toe, your big toe, hold here. You can straighten your left leg. You can bring it off to the side. Or if you're holding on to your knee, you can just take your knee off to the side. And then come back to center. And from here, we're gonna move right into standing pigeon pose. So bring your left ankle across your right knee, bring your hands to your heart, sink down to your right leg, hold here. Find a nice steady place to gaze for one more breath. And your release here is into tree pose, so bring your Right foot to your ankle, calf, or inner thigh. Keep your focus steady. Keep your breath flowing. On your next breath in, come up to a modified five-pointed star. Keep your toes directly in front of your heel. Reach up and then exhale, bring your hands back to your heart. Come into standing pigeon. And again, breathe in, open up, exhale, sink down. Breathe in, open up. And then exhale, bring your left foot to meet your right. Bring your hands back to your heart. Breathe in, tall mountain, and exhale, standing forward fold. Halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, pause here. You can have your knees bent or your legs straight. Bring your arms to parallel with the floor. Shoulders away from your ears, palms facing down. Bring your left hand down toward the floor or a block. Bring your right arm up. Come back to center, arms parallel to the floor, and then switch sides. Right hand to the floor, left arm up. Come back to center. And again, 
twist, center, twist, center, forward fold. Now keep your toes together and you're gonna come into a squat now with your feet together. So you're gonna lift your heels, bring your heels together, squat down here. You can have your hands on the floor for support and balance, or you can bring your hands to your heart. Hold here for three and two and one. If your hands are at your heart, bring them back to the floor. You're gonna keep your right foot right where it is, and then step your left foot way back toward the back of your mat, and you're gonna come into a side lunge. So your right foot is gonna be, again, at a 45 degree angle. You're just gonna lunge onto your right leg. You can have your left foot down for support or you can lift your toes up off the floor. Feel the stretch in your right inner thigh. And then you're just gonna switch sides either with your hands on the floor or at heart center. Come into a side lunge at the back of your mat. And then again, with your hands at heart center or on the floor, whatever you prefer, you're just gonna go back and forth. So just creating fluidity in the hips, nice stretch, working with your breath. Two more on each side, coming forward to the back of your mat, to the front. The back and then come back to the front of your mat and bring your left foot to meet your right and come back into that squat where your toes are together heels lift hands come to your heart or balance on the floor two more breaths last one here Let's do the other side. So keep your left foot right where it is. Step your right foot back. Come into a side lunge at the front of your mat. Toes set down on your mat or you can lift them up. Feel the stretch in your right inner thigh. Maybe bring your hands to your heart or take them to the floor for balance. Now switch sides so you're in a side lunge at the back of your mat. Here. Now with your hands at heart center or on the floor for balance, you're gonna move back and forth to the front of your mat and the back. the front of your mat in your side lunge. Take your hands to your mat if they're not already. Rotate back toward the front and then bring your back foot to meet your front. Toes touch, heels lift. Come back into that squat. Hands on the floor or at heart center. Hold here. I'm going to take one more breath. If they're not already, bring your hands down to your mat or the floor, and then just go ahead and sit down. Bring the soles of your feet together, hands around your ankles, elbows toward your knees, hinge forward, releasing your low back, continuing to stretch your inner thighs. Come all the way back up. Soles of your feet flat to the floor. Bring your knees toward one another. Reach your arms forward. Come into boat pose, creating a little more heat in your core. We're at about three breaths. We're gonna do 10, 
Make any modifications you need. You can hold onto your backs of your thighs, your knees, or you can straighten your legs. About halfway there. Two more breaths. Place your heels down on the floor. Come right back to it. Bring your hands to your heart. You're gonna bring your left elbow toward the floor. Maybe tap it or reach it in that direction. Come back to center, switch sides, and keep going. This time we're doing about eight breaths. And you're about halfway there. Come back to center. Take your heels to the floor. Take a breath here. Okay, and for six breaths now. Take your hands out in front. Find arrow mudra, cross your thumbs. Lift your heels up off the floor and bring your heels to hover as you straighten your legs. Bring your shoulders to hover and hold here. And you're about halfway there for six breaths. Then come all the way back up, set your heels on the floor, and then just hug your knees in, take a breath here. Roll down onto your back. Place the soles of your feet flat to the floor. Bring them in toward your hips. Rest both arms alongside your body, palms face down. Breathe in, come up to a bridge pose. And exhale, release. Two more times. Breathe in, roll up, bridge. Exhale, release. Breathe in, roll up. And exhale, release. Keep your left leg right where it is. Extend your right leg long out on your mat. Hug your left knee into your chest. Take a tight grip around your left knee. Bring your knee up toward your shoulder and then twist across your body. Arm can be in capital T or goal post, whatever's comfortable for you. Big breath in. Exhale. As you begin to slow down and stretch out. A lot of work for your lower body, so take care of it. Place your left leg long, flat on the floor. Bring your right knee into your chest. Hug your knee up toward your shoulder. And then bring it across your body. Arm can be T or goalpost. Feel the release of your low back, your hips, your shoulder. And come back to center. 
Hug both of your knees back towards your chest. You can just take a tight grip on your knees or you can take opposite hand toward opposite elbow or wrist. Make your way to happy baby, separating your knees and feet, holding on to your toes or your inner or outer edges of your feet, or maybe your calves. You can rock side to side if that feels good. here in Shavasana is your next and final posture. Bring your legs long, let your feet fall open, arms rest alongside your body, palms face up, close your eyes, breathe in deeply through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Begin to let go here in this final posture. Just take a moment to observe the state of your body. Starting from your toes and moving your way all the way up to the crown of your head. Wiggling out, moving, shaking out anything that might be tense or tight. posture into this moment, working toward stillness now, letting the entire weight of your body sink into your mat, just letting your thoughts drift without any attachment. as long as you have time for them. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. Today, as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, and peace in your heart. From my heart to each and every one of yours, namaste.